Hi, this is Barrington Miller with the Canadian Securities Exchange, and today I'm here with Dan Anglin from Canna Brands Limited. Dan, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, well, thank you, Barrington. So the company is Can America Brands, and the listing is C-A-N-A. Um, we're a U.S.-based intellectual property company, and a branding machine is really what we are. We started out as a operator in the space in Denver, Colorado, and uh, we built a very successful business in the edibles and cultivation space. And then what we did was we created an intellectual property company where we could take our brand into every market in the world. We're currently in the state of Colorado, the state of Nevada, the state of Maryland, and then of course listed on the CSE under CANA. So you're very, very recent to the CSE. I think you came on Monday, and yesterday was the legalization of cannabis in Canada. Um, tell us a little bit about your perception of the industry and where it's going and maybe some trends for our investors. Sure, so we couldn't be more excited for the timing. Uh, Monday on the, on the same week of legalization was just perfect for us. Um, I think the direction for the nation of Canada is that now regulations have to be um, established for what kind of products can be in the marketplace. And, you know, we certainly hope that uh, our involvement on the policy side in the United States could potentially help, um, you know, both the provinces and the nation to try to determine what type of products that um, are available because consumers want every kind of product, especially confections and vapor pens and you know, products that we specialize in. But I think uh, the future of cannabis is globalization of brands. And as not only Canada, but the United States and countries in South America and in Europe really start to understand this global economy that's been established in the cannabis industry, that what you'll see is you'll see brands are what really rise up like ours um, and, and take hold in the marketplace because consumers can count on a brand. And once they've got confidence in that brand, then they're really looking for, you know, those products or those stores or those cultivations because of the brand. So that's where we're headed. And, you know, we're, we're making a big bet on that because that's, that's the company that we created. And we're very, very happy to have you. you. What's your experience been in the four days on the CSC? Um, amazing. Um, I think we opened higher than anybody expected and you know there's been a little bit of a market uh, correction with legalization. You had uh, a lot of high expectations prior to legalization and then it just kind of had a little correction and I think we did very well. Um, four days, it's really hard to compare. I've never been listed as a public company before uh, so I'm very excited to be there and I think it's doing very well.